Hello guys, Vertigo HD here, and today I will be showing you how to install the Fossils and Archaeology mod, which allows you to get dinosaurs as you can see, and of course ancient mammals and ancient marine reptiles, which are my favourite. Anyway, I'm just going to get ahead and show you how to install this, so just close this down. As you can see, it works completely fine for me. Oh, let's give it that. Completely fine for me. Uh, I'll drop the links down below on where you can download it and the where you download Forge from. If you've watched my previous video on how to install Pixelmon, then this will come pretty easy to you. Um, in, ca in case you didn't know, you can just do the whole process but replace the Fossils and Archaeology mod, Pixelmon with the Fossils and Archaeology mod. Simple as. Anyway, let's get down to the downloads. Um, what you're going to do is you want to download whichever one you choose. Personally, I recommend this bad boy, the 1.7 beta build, this one. It is absolutely amazing. It's just got so many things. I'm loving the app. I'm absolutely loving the new mobs. Um, so what you're going to do, as it says in the instructions, which they have rudimentary instructions there, but I'll be going to a lot more depth. You download Forge. It says 10.2. Well, so on and so forth, but read it, okay? Seeing as we're on 1.72, if you're on 1.710, go below and you can see what you need to download. It's the exact same process, just those different files. Uh, I'm going to download Forge 10.12.2.1121. Anyway, let's go do that. As you can see here, I've already got the uh, website opened up. I will link it down below to make it easier for you. You're going to want to go to the 1.1121, uh, sorry. And that's here. If you do go for the latest one for um, 1.710, go for this one instead. No, not that one, sorry. Ugh, what am I doing? This one. The 1.80, or as it suggests here, to go for. Yeah, the 180. There I was right. <laughs> so go for that one. You're going to go to the right and you're going to click Installer. I'm not going to do that because I've already got it installed. So you're going to want to click Install on that. Also, going to want to install the Fossils and Archaeology mod, which you can find just here, the little direct. Open a new tab like I am, or open the same tab if you wish. Click download once again, I don't need to do that, I've already got it, and when it's downloaded, go to the folder you downloaded it to, I've already got it installed on, um, well I've installed them both in a different folder, as you can see. So you've got both here. You're going to click on Forge, and remember guys, when you click on Forge and you're going to install it, make sure Minecraft is closed. I can't stress this enough. I don't want any of you being silly sausages and trying to blame me for breaking your game. Anyway, you click Install Client and you click OK. I'm not going to do that. Once again, already done. As you saw it working, clearly. Um, and that's done. So you're thinking probably what you're doing next. Quite simple, like my last video. You're going to, oh god, click on the cross here. Uh, get rid of them. No, go away. There we go. You probably all read that, but I don't really care. Um, then you're going to go over to Minecraft. You're going to open Minecraft again. Pretty simple, pretty straightforward. You're going to do what you did last time. You're going to check the Ford. Well, if you did it last time, if you didn't install Pixel 1 and don't want Pixel 1, then you've probably got no idea what I'm on about. I'm talking like an absolute crazy person. But if you did, you'll know what I'm on about. Um, so when Minecraft loads, go to your profiles. You see Forge, click on Forge if it's not already selected, and just check it, check it's the right one, check you're on release 1.72 and you've got the right Forge and the right release and so on and so forth. And yeah, that sounds pretty good. If you want to save yourself time later on, click Open Game Directory now, but you're not going to need it yet. So click, uh, but click on Mods and then just click on the line. Okay, to get rid of that, click Play. Some people like to open worlds, like I do, just to be safe. Others just open it, uh, just open Minecraft as is and then close it. I'm just going to open as is and close it, but I do recommend opening a world just to be safe, to allow it to all it load its settings. Um, as I said earlier, you should open the mods folder. That shows that if it's um, installed correctly anyway, if you can't get a mods folder, make one just, just well, just create a new folder, call it mods, it might not work the same way unfortunately, it might not actually load or might not even acknowledge it because you might have installed the wrong forge or you might have installed the from a different link or a fraudulent link or something like that. Anyway, Minecraft's now open, so that's all good, click on the cross, now with the folder I told you to go to earlier with mods, as you can see I've got more than one open, as you do, so you're going to want to get your download, fossils and archaeology, you want to drag it all the way into your mods folder. 
as I said, I don't need to, I've already got it. As you can see, I've got off my shaders and voxel, which I'll show you how to install it at a later point as well. Um, and yeah, there you have it. You now have Fossils and Archaeology mod. Uh, I'm just going to run it, just so I can show you that it works. Works fine completely for me. Obviously, there'll be a few bugs in the mod itself, so don't I don't take any blame for that. Um, but yeah, no, if you've enjoyed this, drop a like and a comment. Um, drop a like if you've enjoyed this video, and if you want to see more, subscribe to me because I'll be doing installation guides for mods from now on. I'll also try and um, link in which mods work with what. I can tell you now that Pixel One does work with fossils and archaeology, at least to the extent when I was playing with it, which was absolutely amazing. Um, but yeah, um, I'll be doing also doing a few reviews of mods here and there. Uh, if you enjoy fossils and archaeology, I'll be doing a bit of a review and telling you of all the changes over the most recent update, which I am loving. Um, oh, there we go, sorry. Just meant to move a bit. Um, yeah, just open Minecraft up and check it's loaded. Also, I should probably have stressed earlier, if you um, are adding this mod to a previously modded jar with, of, um, with the previous versions of it, delete your old config for it. Can't stress that enough. Anyway, we'll go back to create a new world just to be safe. Go to creative so you can check everything's there. Once I want to load, of course. In its own time, in its own time. And. Ooh. I would so laugh if it's actually crashed right now. There we go. Let the world render a bit. So let it delag itself. I need to sort this out. I don't know why, but I think I need to. No, I don't know what I've got to do. We'll soon find out. Uh, to test it, I'm just going to get us a lovely, lovely, lip, 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 I hate trying to say it. Let's just, um, spacken, of course. The only way to spawn things. With a good spacken egg. Uh, so we get a spawn egg, just to check it works. And we get a lovely lip, lip, on The, uh, marine reptile. Oh my god, it's dark as hell. Although that is deep, and I like that. I might actually keep this world. It's a gorgeous little island. Yep, I'm going to keep it. Oh, look at that. Look at that beast. Oh, wow, I'm definitely keeping this um, map. Anyway, yep, as you can see, it works fine. The little Pluridon is here. Is that how you say it? Let's see. Lip, Liop, Liop, Liplo, I'm going to say Liop, Pluridon, Liopluridon. There we go. And as you can see, it's swimming, enjoying a bit of water. Anyway, guys, I've been Vertigo HD here. Like if you've enjoyed the video, please subscribe, and I will see you next time.